What's going on everybody? This is Boonjman Bakchoy bringing you another F1 2020 video. Today's going to be a kind of a short one. I'm just taking a look at the current esports qualifying event. Uh, kind of weird that it's out right now uh, considering I think the qualifying races have already finished or they're just about to be finished. Um, don't really know why they put this out so late in the lifespan of this game but uh, anyway I was happy to see it anyway. Th I love these kind of events. Um, and as you can see on screen right now, it's a race at Austria, and you're controlling Max Verstappen. I think you started P8. Um, the video on screen right now isn't a decent, isn't, isn't a good a run. I'm just playing it uh, for my intro, just to have something in the background. But uh, I found this one to be very difficult, and I don't know why, but I had a hard time with it. It felt like. I'm not sure if maybe Codemasters put a speed cap on it or something, but no matter what kind of setup I put on, it felt like I was always lacking straight line speed. Uh, I think this, I think you'll see the setup that I use uh, later on once the uh, actual good run comes out. Um, and it's not even my best run. I uh, My best run happened in like the second or third attempt. Uh, while I was trying to get acquainted with this challenge and I, I didn't have my computer recording so uh, but the run that I do show at the end in its entirety is um, yeah as I spin out uh, the run that's about to come up right now is my second best run um, I had a little mistake later on in the event uh, so it didn't match my high score but this is the setup that I used uh, and again because you're lacking so much straight line speed I, I almost feel like it's it's better to just put on a, a higher down four setup like a 3.8 or a 3.9 or something like that and use cornering speed and traction zones to try and gain as much of an advantage on the AI as you can. Um, as you can see going up in eighth gear barely hitting 186 miles per hour. I know I'm not using um, rich fuel or overtake and DRS isn't open but I, f I still feel like one, 185 is still kind of low for top speed. So uh, I don't know if they do that to just make it a little bit tougher, you know, to try and find the, the best of the best uh, at driving in this game, uh, which is understandable, you know. Uh, but I feel like even uh, like in a Grand Prix mode, even with uh, just uh, normal fuel mix and no extra ERS deployment, I feel like in eighth gear, you're, you, sh you should be able to hit higher than 190 miles per hour. But... I don't know. It just it just felt like the car was slow the entire day, uh, but yeah. To the challenge, you uh, you want to try and get DRS on Perez by the start of the second lap, so lap 67, and uh, kind of caught up to him in a very terrible spot right at turn one. But I wasn't close enough to really overtake, and I feel like that's kind of a, a running theme for this challenge. Um, obviously, they're looking for the best drivers, so. Um, they're going to make everything kind of difficult in this game. They're going to make your car a little bit slower than normal. You're gonna, they're going to make you catch up to the AI at, at very difficult spots or non-traditional overtaking spots. Uh, but I, I think that's kind of what they had in mind. Uh, so yeah, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm driving at 105 difficulty and no assists. So if you uh, can drive at a higher difficulty, um, just stop watching the video now. But for everybody else, I hope this helps you out. Uh, because it was so tough at 105 at a track that I thought I was um, able to drive well at um, and then f and then even with my poor form still finishing 136 on the leaderboards um, I figured maybe other people were having problems with this uh, too as we catch up to Ocon on the start finish straight kind of a risky overtake here but uh, we made it somewhat cleanly no contact or anything uh, but yeah, uh, because I was still ranked 136 and I, I was having issues with this, um, I thought maybe other people were having some difficulty with this challenge as well. So for, for anybody driving below 105, I hope this uh, kind of helps you out a little bit. Uh, so Perez and Ocon, uh, even though they were kind of difficult, they weren't the most difficult uh, overtake of this challenge. Uh, up ahead, you can see Albin and Ricardo, and Albin is in Ricardo's DRS, so... Uh, every time I did this challenge, I had to overtake the both of them uh, at the same exact time. I'm sure there's other more efficient ways to get out in front of them, but because of my lack of skill, uh, I always had to overtake them going into turn three. Um, 
Yeah, the official turn three. So, again, trying to get within DRS at the end of the lap, just like with Perez and Ocon, and use this DRS straight to close up. And then hopefully you're still in the uh, DRS of Albin once you get down to the second straight here. And then most of the time, Albin was so close to Ricardo that he was just following right behind. So I would just use Ricardo to block Albin into this corner and then overtake both of them. Uh, the only issue was that I had to use so much ERS to catch up to them. Uh, you start off with fresh soft tires and a whole bunch of fuel, almost three laps extra worth of fuel. So um, tires and fuel aren't the limiting factor here. Uh, Austria is just kind of not amazing at harvesting ERS. Um, and due to the, I think, the speed cap, uh, I had to use so much ERS to uh, overtake everybody that by this point, catching up to Leclerc um, was a bit difficult just because I was low on ERS. So right after you catch up to Ricardo, or right after you pass Ricardo, um, I was always about five seconds or so behind Leclerc, and he's on really old uh, hard compound tires, so... Um, it's not too difficult to catch up to him. It's just that by this time, you only have about um, two and a half laps left to close, like a, a five-second gap. So uh, you kind of have to try and drive as consistent and as tidy as possible. Um, any track extension warnings or corner cutting warnings are going to uh, deduct a whole bunch of points from your final uh, score. So uh, it's really difficult to... Uh, stay on track just because Austria is kind of easy to track extend uh, anyway so yeah and after Hamilton's one lap we've closed in three seconds on Leclerc uh, but again ERS is really low and we are on our final we're about to come up on our final lap um, so you're just gonna want to do this whole bunch of times and, and try to drive it as uh, neatly as possible uh, but yeah that's about it this was a really difficult uh, overtaking challenge for me I feel like world. I feel like all the esports qualifying ones were, were more difficult than your normal weekly event overtaking challenge but again like I said uh, they're looking for the best drivers in the world so I can understand the uh, speed cap if that's what they did and um, programming the AI to um, for you to catch up to the AI at uh, non-traditional overtaking spots. But if you if you just kind of uh, do this a few times and, and kind of figure out what the AI does, um, and this moment is why I didn't get uh, as high of a score as possible. I didn't get a warning, uh, but I think I still lost some time or something like that. Yeah, if, if you do this enough times, um, practice this event enough times, and, and just kind of... Um, get used to overtaking the AI at non-traditional spots, then uh, you should be able to get a, a decent score. So uh, help this, I hope this helped out some of you guys that are having some issues with this. Um, if you think I deserve it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you for checking in on this video. Remember to eat your bok choy. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know how you guys did in the comments section. For a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers.